Kisah mu'alaf dari Denmark yang terpesona dengan salat subuh. And afterwards they asked me, what, why did you pray and what did you ask for? So I told them, and they started laughing because they asked me, what do you believe? And I said, I believe that there is only one God. I believe that all religions come from the same place. And I believe that the word of God is always there, free of charge for anyone to take. And then they started laughing and said, you're a Muslim. I said, okay, no problem. Teach me all about it. And that's how it started. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome back to my channel Noise Sharing Knowledge Teman-teman yang dirahmati Allah Jangan lupa untuk like, comment, dan subscribe Noise Sharing Knowledge Abdul Wahid Pedersen adalah seorang mu'alaf Dan imam di Copenhagen, Denmark Dia sekarang adalah ketua organisasi Islam Terbesar di Denmark Ya, itu organisasi Muslim AID Denmark Dia sebelumnya adalah seorang Kristen dan dibesarkan dalam keluarga Kristen Pada usia 16 tahun dia mulai mempertanyakan kekristenannya Tepatnya dia mulai meragukan imannya sendiri yeah, I was uh, born into a Christian family and raised sort of Christian Not practicing Christian as such but I was raised to know that I was a Christian And uh, at the age of 16 I was uh, questioning my own belief Whether I was actually a Christian by belief or by heritage and that made me leave Christianity and leave all religion in order to search for religion, whether I was a religious person or not, and if I was, then what would be my religion? And I asked all these big questions that I think everybody asks at some point in life, what is after death, what is before life, what, uh, what is this, what is that, is God there, is God dead, is God alive, is God everywhere, is God dead, whatever, you know, all of this. Tidak cukup berhenti di situ, ketika dia berusia 21 tahun, Pedersen akhirnya mulai mencari keyakinan yang cocok untuk diikuti. Dia berkeliling dunia, dari Afrika hingga Asia Tenggara. Di sana ia menemukan iman itu. Pada waktu itu, menurutnya cocok untuk diikuti. Lalu, dia memeluk agama Hindu. And uh, when I was 21, I started traveling and I was kicking around the world for four years. Uh, started out in Africa, in Europe and in Africa and eventually landed in Southeast Asia. And in India, I became Hindu. Because at that point, I had reached the idea that all religions actually come from the same source. And that uh, if I had get into any of the existing religions, I could just kind of follow the religion upstream until I got to the source and that would be the source of all religion and the eternal truth. It wasn't quite as easy as that, I eventually found out, but I went for a lot of pilgrimages to holy places in India and I tried to sort of live uh, the life of a searching person in India. I, I abolished all my worldly goods, I had no money, I had no return to it, I had practically no clothes even, I had some homemade clothes and not even a pair of shoes on my feet. I had my passport and I, I had my homemade clothes. And... Setelah beberapa tahun di India, Pedersen akhirnya kembali ke Denmark dengan agama Hindunya. Pedersen mulai bosan dengan praktik Hindunya, pemikirannya pun terguncang. Akal pikirannya tidak dapat menerima karena terlalu banyak dewa untuk disembah. Dia kembali ke titik awal dan melakukan pencarian lagi. Eventually I got back to Denmark as a Hindu and I kept uh, doing my Hindu prayers and rituals not very regularly but uh, frequently. And uh, eventually I one day I found out that actually not a Hindu because I don't believe in this multitude of gods which is in the daily practice of Hinduism and that I was a stern believer in one God only. And at that point I threw away all my Hindu things and I was back to square one again. And I knew that uh, now I had tried everything, I had gone halfway around the world and I had uh, searched in every possible way and uh, there was only one place now to turn that would be to God himself. Disinilah bimbingan datang ke Pedersen. Dia melihat Muslim berdoa saat fajar. Dia merasa aneh dengan apa yang mereka lakukan. Tapi akhirnya dia mencoba memahami dan menerima keadaan. So I started asking, God, if you're there, you can hear me. If you're there, you can see me. If you're there, you know my needs. I don't know anything. I'm dumb as a door. I'm, I'm deaf as a rock. I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what is up and down, I don't know what is the truth, but if you are there, you hear me and you guide me. 
And that's what I kept asking. And eventually, Allah sent me to a group of Muslims in Copenhagen. I was living in an entirely different part of Denmark. And they were going for a quest into the Sahara Desert and they wanted me with them because I'd crossed the Sahara Desert before. So I said, yes, I'll come with you. I had no intention of becoming Muslim. But the very first night when I was with these guys, uh, which was in May 1982, Demikianlah kisah Abdul Wahid Pedersen sehingga ia menjadi seorang mu'alaf. Semoga video ini menginspirasi Anda yang baru mengenal Islam dan semoga dapat menambah keimanan bagi kita semua. They got up to pray at about 2, 3 o'clock, whatever. And seeing them getting up to pray was like a slap in my face because I had prayed now and then. Whenever I had any spare time, I could give it to God. And here these guys got out of their bed to pray extremely early in the morning, which would be in the middle of the night. And I was so ashamed because I thought, I have something I want to talk to God about. And I've never really sort of given it high priority. And here are these guys who have some odd religion, and they get up to pray like that. So I asked them, can I pray with you? I said, sure, no problem. And I prayed like I used to pray. I, I tried to follow their movement, not to disturb them. And I, I prayed the same as always. And afterwards they asked me, what, why did you pray and what did you ask for? So I told them and they started laughing because they asked me, what do you believe then? I said, I believe that there is only one God. I believe that all religions come from the same place. And I believe that the word of God is always there, free of charge for anyone to take. And then they started laughing and said, you're a Muslim. I said, okay, no problem. Teach me all about it. And that's how I started. Like postingan ini jika bermanfaat, kalau setuju tulis di komen ya dan jangan lupa subscribe-nya serta share ke teman kamu biar pada tahu. Wallahualam sob, wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.